this concept of security risk ratings is going to become an integral key part to the cyber security market and the cybersecurity sort of ecosystem. As this market continues to mature, it's going to become essentially a gold standard. We pioneered the industry. We created the security rating services uh, market that has not existed. So when we started the company, there was no such thing as a market for security ratings. Like it really hadn't been invented yet. And it took a couple of years to get traction to build this market. Today we're starting to see faster and faster uh, rapid adoption of security ratings. You hear almost every week about a cyber incident happening, someone being impacted by ransomware. These, these are things that are only going to continue to evolve. Something like security scorecard to help identify those potential issues early on in the process. How can we help prevent an attack? How can we, we make you more secure? The majority of breaches happen from third parties that you're not continuously monitoring or having any insight on. There's really a lot of wind in the sail, so to speak, of, of the market right now. And what I find exciting about it is security rating or um, vendor risk management was often very manual. But with the advent of SaaS-based computing, uh, companies really started outsourcing a lot of their systems. With uh, services like Security Scorecard, we're able to provide them a lot more uh, coverage of their vendor's risk at a lower cost. Today, security permeates through all of our lives in business and in, and in consumer space. The beauty of security ratings, especially security scorecards, security ratings, is it's an A through F letter score. So the rating helps acts as a bridge language to bridge that communication air gap between technical folks and non-technical folks. Just as credit ratings have affected you and I, a cybersecurity rating for a business will impact from Fortune 1 to Fortune SMB. It would be unthinkable to go to a bank sit down and say, hey, I'd like a million dollar loan. And the bank's gonna say, okay, well, what's your credit rating? And you would say, I don't know. That, that's just not a thing. Being able to have an independently validated score is a great way to assure uh, to your constituents within your company that the data is safe and your third parties are secure. Chief security officers, security risk and compliance practitioners are leveraging the rating to build trust with regulators who are coming on site to do regulatory compliance audits. The necessity of having a third party risk team internally is going to be mandated by certain compliance frameworks. One of the only ways to achieve that is via utilization of a security rating among other things. Publicly traded companies are required to make disclosures every quarter and each year to the market about their financials, about risks. Our vision is that those companies are going to be required to disclose their security risk rating. If you have 20,000 vendors because you're a large company, how do you know where to dig into? Which ones are you going to look at more closely? If you had an outside-in perspective on who's an A and who's an F, it allows you to prioritize the most risky companies ahead of the others. When I'm talking with executive leadership, with a security rating, I can quantifiably tell them that this investment reduced risk backed by breach likelihood by X percent. It's not just me speaking technically in a language that they don't understand and getting into the bits and bytes. It, it does abstract it to the right level that is usually needed to talk with a board of directors or non-technical executive leadership. I think where we're going to see a lot of growth over the next few years is in that cyber insurance world. Insurance companies don't have uh, years and years worth of actuarial data on cyber breaches like they do other types of uh, traditional catastrophes. So Security Scorecard is powering cyber insurance underwriters to help them make decisions faster, uh, have more confidence in uh, pricing risk and issuing the policy uh, more quickly to the applicants and to the insureds. Companies today operate in a global environment. When you have the breadth and depth of data, you can make faster decisions. You can get an accurate, up-to-date risk decision on any company at a speed that you need to conduct business, and our competition cannot do it.